So how do we start by getting categories of information into our visualization space? A great way to start is in the column and row areas where we can take fields and put dimensions and uh, measures in here to be able to use that information. So let's start off by thinking about a categorical field. So we'll take a product uh, category and we'll bring that over and put it in a column. What that does is that makes the three different product categories come over here and then we can do something like put profit, something that's numeric, in the row area and then it will be able to create that. So now what we have is we have uh, these categories showing their profit and the profit is laid uh, here in terms of showing you that that's what we're actually seeing. We can also nest categories so we can if we want to be able to see subcategories within category we can do that. We can come down and take subcategory and now what we have is we have our categories across the top and our subcategories across the bottom and we can see a couple of things is that tables is actually losing money it has a negative profit or there's a loss there and we can also see how much profit is coming from our other product lines if we want to be able to group on some of these smaller things and we can do that by working down here with these labels so by holding the control key down then I can select those uh, small office supplies that I want to be able to group into kind of a parent category and then select this clip and they are rolled automatically and then I can edit the alias and create a name for it that makes sense small office supplies so now that has simplified it so we can see this chart now it's a lot easier to process uh, sort of visually and cognitively if these things are sorted in ways that are sort of like small to large. So for example, if we want to do this by category, if we want to sort categories from the most profit to the least profit, we can do that. And uh, so we'll do it from the most to the least. And so now technology is the most profitable and furniture is the least profitable. If we want to go within each one of these categories, excuse me, each one of these subcategories and do the same thing, we can also do that. So now we can see that we have technologies most profitable. We can see which areas of technology are the most profitable. And we can see, you know, within each category, which subcategory is most profitable. If we want to be able to add labels, in other words, the amounts to each one of these bars, then we can do that by selecting labels and turn on the mark labels and then all, which is the default. And this allows us to be able to see how much each one of these bars actually represents. We can also be able to put something like profit and sales in the same chart by using rows. So we, let's say that we have we want to be able to get sales in this chart as well. By bringing it into the row area, then what it does is it stacks so that we have profit and we have sales here. And so, and if we wanted to reorder those, we can reorder these tiles in here, and that will actually uh, cause so that we have sales in front and profit below. This is a good way to be able to sort of compare. So, for example, tables, there's sales being made, a reasonable amount of sales being made, but it's actually not really having good profits. But some of these were actually having pretty good sales and pretty good profits, such as these. If we don't want to have this distinction, if we don't want to have the category distinction, but we just want to have the subcategories, then we can do that by removing one of these areas. And so now we really are just looking at subcategories along here. And really the distinction is really not that important in terms of categories.